Today I'm going to show you guys a really quick and easy makeup look that I like to use when I'm in a rush or I don't have a lot of time to have my full glam on and it really makes you look put together. So first off I use my Bare Skin Bare Minerals concealer. Now this is a really light concealer and it doesn't have a lot of coverage but has just enough and I'll place this basically wherever I want some coverage. So usually around my nose, around my mouth, underneath the eyes, here in between my brows and I'll place a little bit on any redness that I might have on my cheeks and then what I'll do is I'll use a brush and then I'll gently blend that in and I'll really make sure to buff it into my skin. If you feel like you want a little bit more coverage feel free to go ahead and apply some more or a really good alternative is a pot concealer like the NARS, the NARS pot concealer. I think you all know what I'm talking about. And we're skipping primer today because I've applied all my skincare and my SPF. So I find that with something like this, it's enough priming base for my minimal makeup. Another really good thing about this method is that this concealer is really close to my skin color. So it's not going to create any harsh lines or any you know, spots where you can really tell that there's makeup on there. So just like that, straight away that concealer is also giving me like a natural glow. Next I'll go in with a cream bronzer. I'm going to use the Milk Baked Bronzer. I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to my face. So I'll just grab a small brush. I'll work the product into the cream bronzer and then I'll apply that onto my face. I also like to bring it up here in my crease of my eyes and really effortlessly it's just giving me a nice defined crease without using any extra product. I'll also place a little bit on the tip of my nose and down the sides of my nose. If you feel like you've gone too heavy you can use your fingers to pat it out and the warmth of your hands will really help blend that in. Okay so if you have the time and you want just a little bit of flush of colour another really good product to use is cream blush. Now some people might be scared of cream blush but there's no need to be because it's so easy to blend out so I'm just going to use another milk um, makeup product this is their lip and cheek thing in Quirk. And I'm just going to use the same brush I used for the bronzer. Just going to put some on my brush and apply that to the highest points of my cheeks, just really lightly. And then whatever is left over on my brush, I'll just sweep across my nose and the tops of my cheeks just so it looks a little bit more cohesive. If you feel like you've come too far down anywhere, you can use the brush that you used on your concealer and just soften out those edges. Eyebrows. So I'm just gonna take my Gimme Brow. This is in the shade number six. And I'm really going to work that into my brows. Now this is really good for days like this because it really coats every single hair. And so you won't need too much product but I like to just brush these hairs up towards the tail of my brow I'll brush it against the hair and then I will brush it into the place where I want it to sit and then you've got a really quick defined brow with not too many products then I'll just throw on a coat of mascara I'm using the Urban Decay Lash Freak mascara you can curl your lashes at this step too. Usually I don't give myself a lot of time so I'll usually just slap on the mascara and I'll only apply this on the top lashes. If you want you can put it on your bottom as well but I just prefer a top heavy lash just like so. If you want to put false lashes you can. I think a really nice corner lash would look really nice with this but I'm just going to leave it at mascara. Now if you want to set anywhere on your face you can with a light powder. I'm not going to set too much because I'm liking the glow that the product, the cream products have given me. So I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. Um, sheer tint finishing powder. I'm going to grab a little bit of that on my brush and I'm just going to focus this just underneath my eyes but mainly the inner corner of my eye where I find that I tend to, to crease a little bit more. Now this won't completely prevent it because obviously skin is skin and there's creases and pores but it will help minimize that but don't think that it's going to get rid of it completely and actually I might just go here in the crevice of my 
nose as well. Then usually I'll just slap on a lip balm. This is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Orgasm. It's a really nice everyday lip balm and it's little to no effort so I'll just whack that on, let down the hair and there you have it. Really quick, really easy, simple everyday makeup.